What does AQ mean? The very short answer for you is it means that the thing it's written as a subscript on is dissolved in water. You can think about that as aqueous, which means like that's the Latin word for water or something. I guess that's aqua. You have aqua man who has something to do with water. I don't know. I don't watch it. It does mean different things for different chemicals, however. On an ionic compound, it means it's been broken up into ions, the plus and minus bits that make up the whole formula unit have been separated, and then each ion has been what they call solvated, where water molecules surround it. So, for example, NaCl AQ is actually more like Na pluses, which are AQ. That's plus one charged sodium ions and minus one charged chlorine ions. That, when you look at it in at the ultra microscopic level, have water molecules surrounding them to separate them from each other, kind of like their own bodyguards. How many ion, how many waters surround each ion depends on its size and its charge and stuff like that. But long story short, an ionic compound that is aqueous or dissolved has been broken up into its ions. A covalent or molecular compound is generally intact. The molecule is not broken up. Not broken up but is solvated anyways, as in there are water molecules around each of the molecules. So something like C6H12O6 or glucose, a sugar which definitely dissolves in water, will have some water molecules surrounding it. I actually have no idea how many water molecules glucose needs, but that's the way it is. And you can even get nonpolar things to dissolve very slightly, like F2 gas. Well, actually, F2 gas, that's a terrible example because it will react. Uh, perhaps I was thinking of Br2, a liquid. That ah, probably also reacts, but whatever. The point is, some of the molecules that might stay intact also get surrounded by waters. Cool. AQ means dissolved, and if it's ionic, it means it's broken up into the ions. And if it's molecular, it means that the molecule is still surrounded by waters, but not broken up. It is worth mentioning that acids, even though they are molecular compounds, will break up and ionize. The classic example of that is hydrochloric acid. When it dissolves in water, it gives you H+. Plus and Cl minus, which should remind you of what ionic compounds do, but it had been molecular originally. Acids are the only example I know of that happening. Great, thanks for sticking with me there, and best of luck.